What's up guys and welcome to Besiege. I'm really excited to get a start a series on this game because it looks awesome. It's kind of like medieval Lego. You get all of these different mechanic and static pieces and you get to build pretty much anything you want. You get to build some kind of death machine and you have to accomplish a goal that the level sets out. So in this level, the very first level, we need to destroy this poor little peasant's cottage, which shouldn't be too difficult. So you start off with this center block and you can kind of add parts onto it and that's how you build your machine. So you can build in any direction you want and in the, the levels like I'm playing now, you can only, you're restricted to this kind of short area. So you have to be a little bit um, constrained in what you're building. So we're going to build pretty much just a simple platform and we're going to put some wheels on it. Like this. And there we go. So I think that would be enough to actually finish the level. We could probably just drive into this guy's house and uh, and destroy everything, but that's that's too simple. I want to try to build a catapult. This first episode is going to be kind of a bit of the basics. I want this to kind of act as an introduction to people who aren't really familiar with Besiege, because I'm not really familiar with Besiege. I haven't played it a whole lot. I've watched some guides on how to build certain things. I have kind of a general idea of what I'm doing and where all the parts are and stuff like that. But at the same time... Uh, I like the idea of the first episode just being kind of simplistic, just running through the levels, kind of having fun doing that kind of stuff. But in the future, I want to build some really intense things, because this game, as simple as it is, it can be very complex in the things you can make. Okay, so we have a bomb added. Now we have the long arm and a hinge in the middle, and the bomb is going to want to go up, so we want to pull down on the short end of the arm. I think you could do that with tractable springs. So you can attach springs to the front of this, like this. Yeah, there we go. In reality, we probably only need, like, one spring, but uh, we want to really launch this bomb. We need more power. Let's give it a try. Ooh! ooh. Okay, I don't know how this is going to work now. Oh, God! <laughs> Our parts are still alive, but we're burning. So, what, what, ha what went wrong? Let's see. The, the nice thing about this game is you can slow it right down. So, we're going to go down to, like, 15% and just, just see... What's going wrong here? I think we need to... Oh, well, we don't have a whole lot of mid-stability there. Can we Can we just fire it? Oh, well, everything's breaking, but I think it's a little more successful than the last time. Oh, no! It's going to overshoot it! Hey, we did it! <laughs> we hit him with a frickin' holder! Okay, no, that doesn't count. That's no fun. I think I know the problem. We're thinking on too large a scale. We're thinking about sieging the castle when in reality we are sieging this guy's bungalow. So we are going to try to build something a little more appropriate to the task. So this is going to be our base. It'll be a little bit smaller, but it'll be a lot sturdier. And then uh, we can add a arm to it like that. That's a little more appropriate. And we can add a holder and a bomb. And this time we're not going to go with more power. We're going to go with with medium power. Okay, see how this goes. Please don't blow up. Uh, uh, oh, we're good. I think, I think we're good. Can we fire this? See how it looks. No way! That worked! That was awesome! Okay, so we need to back up and fire while we're backing up. So we can just back up, spin, turn, fire. Yeah! Right on target! That was awesome! Okay, here we go. So now now we have to try to destroy this windmill. So, I mean, it's pretty much the same thing, isn't it? Can't we just back up? Flick it. Just that easy! What the hell does a catapult even look like? Yeah, you see, we're making kind of more like a trebuchet. Like, instead of having weight on the end, we have the springs, but a catapult looks more... looks more like this. You see what I mean? I think, I think we're gonna make an actual catapult. I think that'd work better. This looks more like a catapult. This is gonna like kind of pull the arm forward. So can we? I think all you have to do is hit L to launch it. Uh! Holy crap! That works so well. We need to do that again. Can we? Can we back up? I feel like that would have gone a lot further. Just go way back. Go way deep. The Hail Mary. Fire! Oh, uh, I think we broke some parts there. Yeah, we, we broke some parts. Okay, wait, we can we can fix that. We have we have braces. 
we can just brace everything. We're going to brace here, brace there. We're going to have braces everywhere. We have more braces than a junior high prom. Oh, yeah. It's feeling it's feeling a lot sturdier now. The Hail Mary. Uh, yeah. Wicked. Oh, no. What is this? This isn't blowing things up. We need to drive through this. Through, like, a minefield of sheep. You are not going to be suited to this at all. All right. You know what? Give it a try. Can we just flick the bomb? Well, that wasn't very helpful. And then this. Oh, God, no. Okay, we're back to our rinky-dink catapult, because I feel like he's going to be a lot more suitable to this. It's more suitable to the size. So let's get rid of our bomb, because this is just going to be in the way. Oh, no, not like that. Just going to give it a light flick. There we go. Oh, that poor sheep. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, we don't have any steering. No! Okay, so we need we need to actually add steering. You can remove the wheels and you can add steering hinges. Like that. And then you can put the wheels on the steering hinges. Now we should be able to turn. So let's get rid of our bomb again. If we could just give it a light toss. Oh, can't. Oh, yes! There we go. And now we should be able to... Ugh. What is this turning? We're like a crab. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's... What's stopping me from just doing this? Oh, it's a sheep! Yeah, there's nothing stopping me from just going around. Just We can just back it up and put her in reverse, right? Oh, yep, yeah, okay. This is the weirdest steering ever. Uh, flawless! It's like I've said, there's only two things that can limit you in this game. Your imagination and your skill. Now, I got lots of imagination. The skill is what I need to figure out. Oh, what? So now we're actually sieging the castle. Oh, no, we need to destroy... We need to destroy the peasants. That is not cool, man. You don't fight civilians in a war. So are these guys just going to kill me? How's this going to work? So it can fire my bomb. And clear all... The oh, no! 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 <laughs> Their little arrows actually hurt me. How? <laughs> I can... I can pull my little thing with me. Oh, God. How are we going to get through this? Okay, let's see what else we have. So what does this have to help us here? Okay, cannons. So we can add cannons to the front of this? Cannons will do the job. Fire the cannons. Boom. See you later, losers. <laughs> Oh god, they spin in the air. <laughs> Why is that guy breakdancing? <laughs> now we need to actually get to our objective so we can kind of crab, crab walk. <laughs> oh, I love our crab. Okay. Oh crap, I don't know how to actually face this then. How do we, how do we turn around? We can't actually turn side to side. We can only go kind of forwards, backwards, and okay, here we go. Um... Careful. Now we just need to give you a light toss. Just a light toss. Just, uh. Really? Well, can we, can we just drive over you? Oh, yeah. 50%. Time, time to improvise. I think we can just kind of nudge up against you. And then with that there, we can just use this as a hammer. Yeah! <laughs> Success. Who needs accuracy? Oh, no. <laughs> there are so many soldiers. Oh, we need to kill 90% of everybody. Okay, this isn't going to go well, but we're going to give it a try anyway. So we can play, and we can use our cannons, and we can fire our bomb. Okay, you know what? I think the cannons need to go, and we are going to have to add some defenses. We've added a, a kind of a defensive halo of sorts around the catapult. What can we add to this? Spikes? Or saws? Oh man, there's so many things you can add. A piston. I like the sound of that. So if we add a bunch of pistons, we can launch a bomb. Uh, we can also drive around and <laughs> extend our spikes. Oh god, we're like a devilish porcupine catapult. Oh, we're losing pieces. That's okay, they'll all be dead soon. Yeah, we did it. 
that's gonna be it for this video, guys. This was Besiege, and let me know what you guys think about Besiege, because I'm really looking forward to recording more of this game and getting into the free build mode and making crazy things, because you can also download other people's things. So I can go on Reddit or I can go on Besiege websites and download things that other people have made and show it to you guys and add my own things, and it's just a really cool game. But thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Oh my god. Eating for two, congratulations. Emma is expecting their first child. What? Down him, we got to Bell. <laughs>